Uh, hey y'all guys, and welcome to another episode of Ben's Beard and Beers. This is a very special episode. I got my friend, uh, Miss, Mr. Dylan Wilburn here. Uh, hello. hello. Hello everyone. We're, we're live at the campsite, right? Yeah, we're right here in? out in the, in the woods, and you could probably hear the crickets rustling and the, and the, the bats chirping. Out here in the nature, it, it, things are, it's a slower pace. It is. It is. It, so tell me about this beer, Ben. Absolutely, Dylan. Well, we're out here and uh, in the woods at a slower pace, at a slower life, kind of stepping back in time, as it were. Mm. And it's November, with the holidays are coming, and sometimes people like to have stronger beers. Yes. And so today, I know I'd, I need a stronger beer during the holidays. A strong beer for a strong man, you might say. Yes. Well, as we always like to do here on Beard, Ben's Beard and, and Beers, uh, and it seems that the beard is transferred from my face onto yours. And it's a nice beard. Yeah, yeah. I put wax in it, makes it soft. Like candle wax. Yeah, you feel it. Feel it. You can feel, feel it. Yeah. That's a smooth beard. It, it is. It smells like candle wax. Well, without uh, for, uh, further ado, on today's episode, you can't see it that well. Here, here. Let's make use of your light. We got us Swarty from right here, hometown Little Rock. Uh, Forest Queen Milk Stout, and you got you see there there's a, a bunny rabbit on it. Well, I wonder why it's a queen and a bunny rabbit. Explain What's the, that one. Well, it's probably because it's the queen of the forest. Okay. Yeah? All right. I see what you mean. So let's crack into the beer. What would I like to do on the show is we always like to crack open a beer, and since we're camping, we'll be drinking straight out of the can. Cheers. Cheers. And what I like to do is take a drink, take a sniff, take a drink. Okay. All right. See how we feel, and then we'll read the description. <clears throat> Sounds great. Here we Bottoms go. Bottoms up. Hmm. That's a very smooth stout. It just went right down the gullet. I need to taste it again. Hold on. Chocolate? It's a light. It's a light stout. I like it. Yeah, you know, yeah. sometimes that sweet taste you get at the end of a stout kind of like a coffee taste ch coffee chocolate kind of taste but it's not too sweet at the end you know mm -mm, no just sweet mm -mm. enough just like our friendship ha all right so let's read this here all right if you don't mind shining some light all right I got you right now this says winter season winter seasonal about milk coming stout give me some milk sugar more than a stout in addition to roasted barley used for deep, delicious uh, flavors in all stouts, our luscious milk stout includes lactose or milk sugar. Uh oh. For a. Hope we're not lactose intolerant. You don't tolerate lactose? Let's just say it's going to be a long night in the woods. <laughs> oh boy. I like to live life on the edge, folks. I like to live life on the edge. Or milk sugar. I didn't know lactose was milk sugar. Me neither. You learn something new every day. I hope you learn that on Ben's Beard, right here on Ben's Beard and Beers. Mm. Uh, continue reading. It says, for a velvety medium body and luxurious uh, finish. Just like how you like your women, right? That's right. And it says, seek, find, enjoy. Hashtag seek, find, enjoy. On Laura, you can hashtag Ben Smith. Hashtag Ben's Beard and Beers. Yep. Hashtag Dylan Wilburn. Hashtag lactose intolerant. Hashtag lost 40. Yes. One more for the folks back home. There we go. When you go camping, take a nice uh, warm stout with you out in a cold evening camp. Yes. And you'll never, uh, you'll never be far from home. That's right. Thanks, Ben. Thanks for the motivation. Happy Thanksgiving. Yes. <clears throat>